Thanks for coming, guys. And uh, my question is, in the past sorts of uh, discussions about how to get into voice acting, one thing that's always brought up is get an agent. But for people who are just getting started out or people who don't really have much of a showbiz background, how do you know how to pick a good agent and what's the difference between a good agent and a bad agent? Well, you, you, if, I, if I may, gentlemen, you, you? you're starting from here. You need to start from here. The question you need to ask is... Okay. So I'm agreeing with you. The question you need to <laughs> ask is, to get into voiceovers, where do I start as, as an actor? Okay. And then the agent is the last thing you get. You start, and I think I mentioned this to you earlier, you start, my suggestion is you get into an improv group and you start developing characters. Okay. Uh, you go to a, a good acting coach or a good acting school, actually, and start seeing what other people are doing and, and, and how people perform, etc. I I train actors how to get into voiceover, and if that's hard, and it's hard for a lot of them, it's got to be hard for somebody who's just starting, unless, unless you're a natural. Like Jim Cummings was a natural. I mean, Jim was just wonderful. He came out of nowhere. But if you start with an acting class or an improv class, you played your eyes, you don't shade your eyes, that's why God made your eyes. So what you do is, and as I explained to one gentleman, watch Jerry Springer. You got a lot of strange people up there. And what you do is you pick one and say, I'm gonna become that character. And that vocally, physically become that character, and then now you've got a character, and you put that character in your bag. And you find another character, maybe it's grandma, maybe it's grandpa. Maybe it's just, just, just interesting characters that you will eventually become in your own way, that you create in your own way. It's about listening. You get into a room with a bunch of voiceover people, um, be prepared, because that's what we do. We're actors, but we're, because it's because you can't be seen, you're creating a picture vocally. And people have to see what you look like by listening to you. That's imperative. And as you work your way up, and eventually um, you got your stuff, you got about maybe five, six characters. I don't think you need more than that. Maybe you learn as you go along, but you got five or six solid characters, and then you get an agent. At least you try to get an agent. You put together your little bit, but you gotta spend money. It's, you don't just walk into it. It costs money to, to create all this, to hire someone, to write copy for you, unless you're brilliant. And then uh, to go into a studio, that costs money. So it's, it's a gamble. But if it's something you really want to do and nobody can talk you out of, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Beautiful.